Hey, brothers and sisters, this is Tia. I come to you, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ's name, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahushua HaMashiach. Um, I received a dream on November 25th, 2020, and I feel led to share it, so I'm just going to jump right in it and hop off. Okay, so in this dream, I was around this school. It's, this was like a particular school that I went around. And on the outside of the school, I started talking to a huge group of people. And I had a knowing that something had happened that made me begin to tell them stuff about the Antichrist, about the times of the Antichrist and that we are in them. And I remember this Mexican guy and this black guy they were the ones that was really listening to everything I was saying. I told them, we know that everything that's happening is showing we are in the times of the Antichrist. This pandemic is a pestilence, and the Bible tells us this. And the Mexican dude was shaking his head, you know, like, you know, like he was listening. I said, so we know it's time for the Antichrist. Then one of the people asked, what's the Antichrist? And I said, the Antichrist is somebody that pretends to be Christ. He will come in the place of Christ, but it's not the real Christ. I said, the Antichrist is going to fool a lot of people. He is going to work wonders. He is somebody the people will love. It's like he already will, he already have won them over. And when I said that in my spirit, I said to myself, Barack Obama already done won the black folks over. Then I said, all this is in the Bible. You can read it for yourself. Then uh, the Mexican dude asks, where can I get these Bibles? I'm going to have to get me one of them. And I said to him, I will get you one then. I said, you never heard of the Bible? And he said, no. And I asked, why? Is it because you don't? Is it because you do that Hail Mary thing? He answered, no. I said, so you don't know nothing about God either? And he answered, no. And I knew in my spirit that his parents never told him anything and he was raised in a home where God was never even mentioned and I said I said to him it's better to it's better to not know of God than to know him and go follow after false gods and that was the end of the dream wait a second and that was the end of the dream so I was um I was praying and I was asking God you know about this dream or whatnot, just seeking him on his dream. And, I mean, it was a lot that he showed me on his dream, but for the most part, I was just left to just give the dream and leave it there. Um, but I do believe that Father is showing us the times that we are entering, which is the Great Tribulation, the times of the Antichrist. So with that being said, I'm going to just say, you know, people... You know, now is the time to make your choice. You know, who you going to serve. You know, today is the day. Like, don't put it off. And I pray that your choice is Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus died for the sins of the world. And it's through Jesus that we live and have life. It's only through him. You know, don't think that you're too deep in sin that you can't come to Jesus. That's a lie. That is a lie that Satan puts in a lot of people's mind or whatnot. You know, in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, it said, But God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God didn't send Jesus to die because we were good. He sent him. He gave him to die because we were sinners, because we are sinners. So you're not in, it's, there's no sin out there that's too deep that you feel like you can't come to Christ. You can, you know, so that's it. But that being said, I'm just like, you know, people, please get on the ark. Like, please, please, please get on the ark before it's too late. You know, because up in Matthew 24, 21, it says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of, of the world to this time no nor ever shall be you know this tribulation nobody can actually say how it's gonna be even the things that we have been shown because we only see in part we still don't see the full picture 
of what's going to take place in tribulation. But the scripture says that it have never been a time like that since the create the creation of world. Like since the world was created, it, it, there has never been a time like it's going to be for the great tribulation. It's going to be bad. I mean the the hardest thug will be crying, screaming like it, like come on now, come on now, like it's not even worth it. Like come to Christ, you know, Christ is our shelter. He is our covering. Give your lives to Christ. Give it. It's it's nothing in this world is worth playing with your eternal salvation. Absolutely nothing. Nothing in this world. Nothing. So, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. Um, Matthew chapter 24, verses 4 through 8. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise up against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. I'll summary um, Matthew 24, verses 23 through 27. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible that they shall that they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before, wherefore if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth, behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not, for as the lightning cometh out of the east, yeah, out of the east and shine shineth even unto the west so shall the coming of the son of man be and also i want to read um second peter chapter 2 verse 21 for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them so with that being said people we are in the times of the Antichrist. So if anybody, anybody saying they are the Christ, Jesus said, believe them not. Don't believe them. Don't believe them. Because just like you see the lightning in the sky coming out of the east and shine it even unto the west, so shall the coming of man be. So you're going to see when Jesus comes, you're going to see him. Everybody, every eye will see. Don't let nobody tell you that they are the Christ and you run behind them. Do not. Do not. And so with that being said, um, to the saints, I'm going to say keep fighting, keep praying and fasting and look up because our redemption draw nigh. And... With that being said, if you don't know Jesus Christ, now is the time to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Ask for forgiveness of your sins and repent, 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 for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God bless.